Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. <coughs> I'm here because I want to improve my English. Do you want to improve your English? Well, if you do, let's work on it. Let's work on it together. You and I together. Uh, we'll try to learn new words. We'll try to learn how to pronounce some words properly. We will learn here uh, once in a while. Uh, here and there, we'll learn some rules of grammar, some common errors that people make, and in the process, hopefully, we'll improve our English. Today, I want to talk about few words, not too many, just few words that bother me a lot because I hear too many times people go around mispronouncing them. And it's very important uh, that you that you pronounce or that you pronounce the words properly, especially especially if you are a non-native speaker of English. People are more judgmental. As soon as you open your mouth, as soon as you open your mouth, people will judge you by the way you speak the language, the way you pronounce the words. It's okay to have an accent. I have an accent. It's perfectly fine. Obviously, everybody has an accent. Even the people who think they do not have an accent because they are, they are, they are the native speakers. Uh, to other people, they speak with a, when the Americans speak to the to a British, the American has an accent. Or when the, uh, when the British speaks to an American, the British has the accent. Everybody has an accent. That's not, that's, that, that's not the problem. The point here is that you must pronounce the words as best as you can, as properly as you can. And that is, that is, that is the important part here. The word that I'm talking about in particular, there are a few uh, I'm going to talk about, not, not too many of them. Here's the word. I'm going to write it down first. How is it pronounced? Well, before I write it, before I write, before I write, I write the pronunciation of it. I heard too many times, too many students going around pronouncing this as preface. It is not preface, it's not pre and phase, but it's not how you pronounce it. It is pronounced pref-s, preface. Right here is the pronunciation key, of, if you're looking for it, you can zoom in here, you can magnify it, do whatever you have to do. All the vowels that are listed there, they will tell you how to pronounce them with the example. And it is pronounced preface, not preface. It bothers the hell out of me when I hear it. What does it mean? Well, you already know what it means. Of course, the suffix here, or rather the prefix here, the P-R-E, pre, the prefix, uh, and we'll, we can learn these words later if you like, prefix and suffix. Once in a while, I'll misspell the words, so I put, I'll put something on the blackboard and you will find that it is not spelled correctly. It is not the end of the world. I'm not a very good speller, it's no big deal. You, you can learn the spelling later. These days with the spell check, people become lazy and their spelling deteriorates because you know that the computer is going to correct it so you, you do not get in the habit of uh, spelling everything properly and that's, that's, that's where it deteriorates. Anyway, the word was preface. Preface is something that you will find in the beginning of the book. This is, that is where the author tells you why he or she bothered to write that particular book. And if you pick up a, uh, any kind of book, it's always a good idea to read the preface because uh, it's interesting to know what was going through author's mind. What is the author trying to achieve in that book? Every book has a preface. Let's see if I can uh, pick one up right now somewhere close by where I'm standing. So to make you understand. Right here is a book that I'm holding in my hand. Oh, there you go. This is the book that I usually use, Vocabulary Energizers. And right here you'll find in the beginning Preface. It tells you what the author author is trying to achieve in that book, and every book has one, and it tells that's what it is. Uh, that's where you'll find. Let's learn one more word. The one other word that I find annoying people spell uh, people pronounce it incorrectly. The word here. Again, let me first tell you what the incorrect pronunciation is, which I hear a lot of times students go around pronouncing it. And what bothers me even more is that nobody corrects them. The teachers do not bother to correct them. They go on and on. I have seen some grown-up people, people in college, 
in colleges going around pronouncing these words improperly and nobody bothers to correct them, nobody bothers to teach them properly as to how it is to be pronounced. The word is not comparable, there is no such word. There is no word in English language called comparable, it doesn't exist. It's to be, it, it is to be pronounced, you see, com, c-o-m, com, per, o, bo. It's pronounced comparable, not comparable, comparable. Comparables are where two things that are similar, here's the meaning here, two similar or equivalent things that can be compared. So if there are two things are similar or they are equivalent, uh, you, can, you can compare them and they are said to be comparable. For example, you might, you might talk about a, a circle and an, and an ellipse. Or you might talk about a, a sports car, a two-door car and a four-door car. But you will, you will not go around uh, talking about a, a car versus a semi-truck. They are not comparable. They are they're, they're dissimilar. They are they're, they're not equivalent. Uh, they are, they're, they're, uh, therefore, you cannot compare them. They are not comparable. Do you understand? Sometimes some people are described as incomparable. A musician, artist are described as incomparable because what you're trying to say is that nobody else exists which will come to their caliber. They are the best in their field. They are incomparable. Do you understand? And again, one more time, the, the pronunciation is comparable. Let's learn one more, shall we? Another word, let's learn one more word. Uh, as to as to the pronunciation of it. I'm going to erase this now. Again, this is preface, comparable. Any other words that crop up during the lecture that uh, that comes to my mind, I'm going to put them in the margin so that we, so that uh, I have a note uh, I have a note there so that we can we can cover them in the future. Today, oh, I did not put down. Today is day two. And somehow, somewhere, I will figure out some sort of a nice uh, tag to use to help you find these videos uh, properly. Uh, why don't we say, why don't we simply say, capillary. This is too long. This is too long of a tag. This is this is too long. I probably I probably won't use it. Anyway, the word the word that I, that I want to talk about is of course you know this word. It's a very simple word. Most almost everybody knows it. Prefer. You prefer something, you, that means you like better than this, or you like this better than the other thing, that's all. I prefer blue to red. That's my that's my favorite color, blue, whatever it is. Do you understand? The word that I want you to learn how to pronounce is not this word. This is very simple. This is the word I want you to learn. Just like compare and comparable, similarly we have prefer and preferable. Preferable is not pronounced preferable. Sometimes people do that, prefer and they go preferable, they go around saying it. It is incorrect, it is improper. The, 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 the correct pronunciation is preferable, as you can see here, preferable, preferable. Not preferable, or I, I don't even know how to pronounce it incorrectly, but prefer and preferable. Which simply means that it's more desirable, something is more desirable something is more desirable or something that is preferred to something else. 
if you prefer one, one, one thing to, to, to another, then that thing that you prefer is called preferable. That's all. Well, that was the end of today. As I said, today I do not have a long list. Today was day two. I'll meet you again on the third day. And every day we're going to spend a few time, a few minutes together and work on our, work on our vocabulary, work on our English language. We'll learn, we'll learn different things. Uh, I'll go all over the place. There is no confluence. There is no, they do not come together. There is no continuation from one idea to the other. These are just discrete things, uh, idea, uh, thoughts that come to my mind, the words that I pick up from here and there from reading. And I want to make sure that I learn them properly. So I figured why not do the videos in that, in that way it forces me to uh, sit down and learn the word properly and uh, other people hopefully will get something out of it too. So I hope that you got something out of it. I hope you found it helpful. Listen, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I do tutoring for the GRE, GMAT, SAT and I also tutor, uh, uh, I also give uh, tutoring lessons, uh, tutorials for English language. If there is anything at all that, uh, that you think that I can help you with in your preparation for the exams or the English language that you're trying to improve for TOEFL, uh, go to my website at uh, www.keshwanipred.com or you can go to prepforgra.com or prepforgmed.com or prepforsat.com. They will all take, take you to the same website, okay? Or prepfortofl.com if you're preparing for TOEFL, if, if, you, if you're preparing for TOEFL, all right? Thanks.